Welcome to our channel, The Purpose Driven Homestead, where we share our journey growing a small scale homestead. Today's project is a simple DIY worm tower to use in your garden. This is an awesome little project that you can do in less than an hour and the only item you're really going to need is an old scrap piece of four inch drain pipe. You can get it at any home improvement store uh, and they're usually pretty cheap. This method of worm composting has a few advantages compared to others. One, it doesn't require you to keep a bunch of worms inside your home or garage. I can't stress enough how important that is because everyone that's had one inside their home at some point has walked into either their garage or into their kitchen, uh, around their kitchen sink, if they keep it underneath their kitchen sink, and they've seen worms crawling out. There's been some kind of mass carnage, usually to do with a change in a barometric pressure that really impacts worms. So I can't stress to you enough how awesome it is not to have worms inside your house or in your garage. Number two, it's a simple way to start composting with very little room. This takes up almost no space. It sits out in your garden. You can even put it in your yard if you wanted to, but it takes up almost no footprint. So anybody can do this. Number three, it attracts worms to your garden where you really want them, right? Because they're gonna aerate and generally improve the soil consistency as they crawl through. They take care of decomposing leaves and uh, matter that's kind of falling into the, the soil. They take care of all that. So you want your worms in your garden uh, and this is a great way to attract them in there. And number four, it shifts the composting action and the worm casting process deeper into the soil. So it's not on just the surface like you would see in a lot of places when you're doing normal composting processes. This is actually going to get it deeper into the soil up to a foot down where it's really more accessible to the plants. So let's get started. All right, so what we did is we put our pipe here and we took, it's about a four foot piece of pipe. And we know that we're gonna have about a foot of it in the ground. So I took and drilled large holes, about a half inch is what I used, half inch bit. I drilled holes all through here. As you can see, just went around. There's nothing super scientific to it. I mean, the worms don't, don't care whether they're evenly spaced or not. But obviously we want to try to give them as much opportunity as they can to get in here while still keeping the pipe kind of intact. So what I did is I drilled these holes all the way around. Um, again, just kind of do it how you see fit. About a foot up is what I measured. So that top hole uh, is close to a foot around in each spot. But that is good enough. It gives us big openings for the worms to come through. Uh, now this piece of pipe actually has is, is just a uh, slip-in pipe. They have this larger end, and I would suggest using this larger end where you can, because it's easier to get the food scraps, which we have some sitting over here kind of waiting to go in, but it allows those to come in. Uh, and, you know, it's just not as hard. You don't need a funnel or anything to try to get them in very easily. So that's what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this pipe uh, and we're going to sit it down in the ground. And uh, we'll be able to drop that down just like it is right here. Got our hole already dug. This will give us an opportunity. And 
what we'll do is as these, uh, as the worms come in and out of this space, they'll come in and out of the holes, they'll eat the food, they'll then move back out, and they'll deliver it back into the soil, which will make it richer. Uh, and it will kind of give us an opportunity to work our compost essentially into the ground uh, without having to, uh, and with the worm castings as well. So there you go. Well, we picked a spot right here at the top of one of the rows. We didn't want to get into the alleys, so that way we'd be able to get a tiller through if we wanted to, or just walk back and forth as we're picking items. So we picked right here in the middle of the row. This is actually going to be a bean row. If we look down towards that end, you can see that we have a post down there, a wooden post set up, which is just an old tree uh, trunk that we cut off. And we'll take and run our wire down for our vine beans. Have one down there as well. There's that one. So we just chose to do it right here in the middle of the garden. So go ahead and slide, put the holes down, slide that in. Lightly tamp down around the bottom here. Just to give it something to hold on. We're not trying to pack it around. And that's the whole project, guys. That is it. This is a super simple kind of DIY event that you can do in probably less than an hour. I had a couple of helpers here who were more than eager to help me kind of put the pipe in the ground, get all the dirt pulled around it. Uh, and I'm happy to say this has turned out to be a great success. We'll probably do another video on it later showing you kind of how the soil looks but for now this is a great way and you can put a bunch of these by the way in your garden so you don't have to just limit yourself to one you can put several uh, in different strategic places throughout your garden but this is a fantastic way to really enrich the soil it gives you an opportunity to have something that's low profile i do again apologize for some of the wind here in the midwest uh, it was very windy that day and i did the best i could to kind of edit some of that out but uh, unfortunately, there was only so much I could do, but thanks for joining. Hey guys, if you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and smash that like button. Also, check out these other videos that you might be interested in. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time on the Purpose Driven Homestead.